What's up guys, Candy James here with another exciting, somewhat small episode of Freshwater Massacre. I set out yesterday to get another Whopper Plopper. I was at my buddy's house. I lost one in the power lines. So, at some point today, I'm going to try my hardest to catch a fish on top water. I was able to do it in December, and I was able to do it last month in january i really wanted to try to do it again i bought a phantom shad whopper plopper i'm just gonna roll it real slow see if i can't rustle something up let's go strap in sit back we're gonna see if we can't have some fun let's do it all right guys i stopped at a local store got me a breakfast sandwich bacon egg and cheese and add sausage with mayo mm -mm. it's a good sandwich all right let's do it so I'm gonna stop by this uh, spot that's literally literally on the way they've got llamas out here and goats and uh, the guy next door has uh, turkeys and all different kinds of dogs and uh, it's a bumpy ride but we're gonna get out here and see if we can't get on some fish uh, last time that I came out here wasn't nothing happening but I'm hoping here the water may have warmed up uh, a little bit quicker and it's still warm it's 50 degrees right now wind is blowing so there's no telling how it's gonna be but gonna see if we can't go catch some fish let's do it all right almost there those llamas are awesome they're just so funny looking and they just stick their head up and they're like hey what's up man how's it going so anyways we are here at the pond and I'm gonna throw the plopper for a few minutes not for very long because if it's anything like the other pond it's not gonna be very good so we're gonna grab our square bees and uh, see if we can't get on some fish. Let's go. Guys, I am so glad that I did not decide to take the boat out anywhere today. The wind is absolutely atrocious. But I'm gonna try to make the best of it considering the wind I think the square bill is going to be the it's going to be the money for today uh, considering the wind but I figured I'd give the plopper a sporting chance these conditions are not ideal at all for uh, a topwater bite but I wanted to at least give it a shot because like I said just as soon as you think you got bass figured out they will surprise you The water actually looks more calm over there. I might just skip over there real quick and throw this in the... Oh, I see some fish swimming over there by that dock. But if I'm gonna... If I'm gonna catch anything, then I gotta be... Stealthy because that little dip right there is only three, two to three feet deep. Do 
there's usually fish hanging out on this side too but I don't I don't see any just yet Maybe I'll have better luck with the square bill. I did really good at Lake L with the square bill yesterday. But I think maybe they might be playing little hide and go seek today just like they were the other day because usually it's not that long to get a hit on this square bill but we're gonna try and we're gonna keep trying My goal today was to catch a fish on the whopper plopper. Now my goal today is just to catch a fish. Oh, there's a good one. There's a good one. Stay down. Stay down. Well, I succeeded. I wanted to catch a fish. That's a nice one too. Smacked it. It actually looks as though I've caught this fish before. Pretty fish. I get a picture and get them back in the water. All right, baby. If I can get close enough, I get a get a good release on you. I'll put you in right over here. See you later, dude. Thank you. Well. I'm cool with that I wanted to catch one so that was my my goal has been met for the day and I basically just cast the opposite way of what I normally do so I threw on this lucky craft shad and I've got fish chasing this thing down crazy I can literally see the bait in the water and there's fish that are coming up to it and one smacked it and they're they're following it they're just not this bait is so big there's literally four fish down there It's so, they're so close to this thing. It's ridiculous. So close to this bait. Come on, just t touch it. Take a bite out of it. Take a bite out of it. Come on, hit it. That's a good fish too. They are extremely interested in this bait. Every time I flitch it, every time I twitch it, it moves as soon as I twitch the bait. 
It's like they, they want it, but they don't want to get close enough to eat it. That's so crazy. It's so, it's so realistic. And there's like literally five of them down there. Oh, one just freaking hammered it. Dang it. That was awesome. Well, guys, I tried something new and I tried something different that I've never used before. This is a Chompers tube jig. And, man, what a, what a pretty fish. I'm just running it right along the bottom. And, uh, sure enough, pretty fish. That's number three. See you later, dude. Sweet. That was awesome. Thank you, Chompers, for uh, a cool new trick. Because it... it it falls really slow in the water and it's got great action sweet all right guys number two on the tube jig man i like this thing pretty fish All right, let's get the release. Thank you, baby. Appreciate that. So, guys, I was getting a little stumped as to what to throw, and I said, you know what? They've never seen this tube jig before, and I'm going to give it a toss, and I literally saw that fish on the shoreline and threw it right to it. And it, uh, it, it took it. So basically, what I'm doing is I have this tube jig and I've got it on a wobble head and I've got the, uh, I've got the tube jig paired up with this wobble head so that it has an extremely slow fall. So when it sinks to the bottom, I just twist it a couple times and just hop it. Literally, just just uh, just hop it along the bottom. I could be wrong, but I think I'll make sure to put the uh, all the baits that I used uh, to catch these fish today. I'm making sure that I put them in the description of the video so you have something to go by. I need to go back and check my batteries because uh, I had them charged. This one is about to die very shortly. So. I'm going to have to go switch out. Switch out the batteries. But before I do, I'm going to cast. Is that a fish? It looked like there was a fish right there. So I'm going to give it another cast. Let it sink to the bottom. Hop it across here a couple times. And then I'm going to walk over to the bridge. Or the walk over to the dock. You know what? I might just go the other way. Go beat the shore up. Now I think I'm going to cast, 
I'm gonna cast with the wind. So I'm gonna go this way. Oh, but I gotta, that means I gotta trek through that mess. Hopefully it's not so saturated that it gets my shoes all soaked. I'm doing good so far. Much better. We'll talk about a challenge. Because usually, you know, the same goes. If you can see them, then they can see you. Guys, I wish that you could have seen that. So, this tree right here, I cast the jig literally into the tree, and the line was hanging over the tree. And I was dangling my uh, bait in the water and I saw a fish swim up to it and I let it sink down and the line was still hung up on the tree so I let the line go slack and it took it and I set the hook while the line was on the tree man what a pretty fish huh what a pretty fish look at how red those teeth are man have they been munching Thank you, buddy. I'm not going to jump down there, so I'll let you go. See you later, dude. Man, that was awesome. I was not expecting that at all. Super cool. Super cool, guys. That's the kind of stuff I wish that I could have got on camera. Look at that hook set. Look at that. Just completely annihilated it. Chompers, y'all did an awesome job making these jigs, jig tube jigs, whatever you want to call them, whatever they are, they work great. Oh man, that was awesome! That was awesome. All right, let's grab my other, let's see if my battery is recharged yet. One is, not that one. This one's charged, sweet. Let's get it switched out. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I really honestly uh, did not have very high hopes for this uh, tube thing, whatever you wanna call it, only because it just looks so weird. I've never used it before. I didn't know how to use it, but I figured that I would just try to Put it on a wobble head and hop it along the bottom like if i was a fish you know and i did that last night just kind of as like all right well i'll try it and i'll see how it works uh and that was three fish three fish today that i've caught on this thing like I said, I'm gonna leave the uh, I'm gonna leave what it is in the description of the video. I need to get better about doing that when I'm catching fish. You know, everybody has their preferences with line. Everybody has their preferences with rods. And I upgraded because I had quantum reels, and then I went to lose. And uh, it's been it, it's been a good decision but I'm noticing that uh, I don't I don't I don't think that I would use this with uh, a lot of cover I may I honestly I may with um, if if the uh, if it wasn't a wobble head in heavy cover only because the head wobbles and I wouldn't want to get it caught on the branches. I see some fish swimming around out here. But the thing that I love about this trailer combo with the wobble head, the weight of the wobble head makes the rate of fall so slow and it stays in their face longer. And then when it sinks to the bottom, and you hop it, it leaves a trail of 
like a cloud. It really, really helps the fish locate the bait because it's a very uh, clear water, clear water presentation color. So have to be mindful that you know if you're gonna throw watermelon in clear water, if you're not gonna use a dip, then you need to make it so that there's some way that they can they can key in on it. And another thing that helps is it's got the watermelon red fleck and it's got the uh, purple flake in it. So I've got six minutes left on my SD card and I'm gonna be full up on data on this SD card. So I'm gonna give it a few more casts and uh, see if I can't catch a few more fish. Stay tuned guys. Best part of the day guys, I got a hot dog in one hand and I'm fishing and I'm gonna catch a fish with a hot dog in my hand. There it is. Hot dog, hot dog in my hand, hot dog in my hand, one hand hook set. What's up now? What is it? Come on now, baby. Let me see you do that. Let me see you catch a fish with a hot dog in one hand and a rod in the other. I challenge you. Let me see you do it. Come on now. Pretty fish. Good way to end the day. Just when I think I'm done, I catch another fish right here where I caught that other fish where my bait was hanging on the tree. Pretty girl. Look at the markings. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, pretty fish all right guys well I thought I was gonna be able to pick off one more but I definitely succeeded today in my goal and that was to catch one fish and I think I've caught like eight nine or ten I don't remember how many I caught but it's always a good feeling when you lose track so we're gonna get back to the house and get this thing here edited I might, uh, do I have time? Yeah, I got time. I'm gonna come back over here to this other spot. And see if I can't pull out one more. What do you think? Let's try. Last fish of the day. I knew there had to be another one down there somewhere. Last fish of the day, man. What a pretty fish. What a pretty fish. Mm. Good way to end the day. So this concludes our episode for today, Freshwater Massacre. Like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. And the next time you're out fishing and you're near some trees or you have the opportunity to eat a hot dog and catch a fish, that might just be something that you want to do. Peace. Man, it's just been a great day. Thank you for watching. Peace. Oh, oh, oh.